Hello, it is a great pleasure for me to introduce my work here. The title of the paper is Atomic Fast and Space Efficient Calculate Counting. As the title says, this work provides efficient algorithms for calculate counting. The presentation is split into seven parts. Introduction, related work, exact and approximate framework, sample from the calculus, sample from the color passes. Uh, this is three parts of the main framework and algorithms. Experiments and the future work. <laughs> the first part is the introduction. What is cake leap? Given a graph G, a cake leap is a complete subgraph of G with K nodes. It uh, has many applications to get the cake leap count, such as anomaly detection, social network analysis, community detection, and so on. The research challenges of cake counting is combinatorial explosion. The count of cake leaks in a real world network is combinatorial explode. Then we simply introduce the related work. The first work is ordering heuristics for cake leak listing. For cake leak listing, there exists algorithms based on degeneracy ordering or degree ordering. As to say, listing clicks in an ordered graph. And uh, one work of the ordering heuristics for click listing. For the order generates a color ordering based on a linear gradient coloring method. One characteristic of this color ordering technique is that Every two adjacent vertices are colored by two different colors. Let's look at this picture. Every two connected vertices are colored by two different colors. And then the edges change into direct edges by their color ID. The blue node with color two, and the red node with color I. And after changing into a DHC, uh, the blue node will point to the red node. The second related work is a pivot algorithm from the power of pivoting for exact click counting. The work <coughs> is building a search tree based on the pivot technique such that every pass from the root to leaves is a maximum click, and the pivot can com combinationally count clicks on the maximum click. It is a exact counting algorithm. <clears throat> the advantage on click counting is that it is a, has excellent practical performance on the sparse regions of the real world graphs. The third world is a Turing shadow. It is based on a Turing theory. If the age density of a graph is more than one minus one divided k minus one. Then it contains at least one divided k minus one powered by k minus two k clicks. Then uh, the advantage of Turing shadow is that it has occurrence guarantees due to the trans theorem. The k identity for each shadow it is larger than the formula because this theorem. However, it has some limitations. It has huge space and the time cost on some graphs. Then let's start to go into my work. The title is Lightning Fast and Space Efficient Calculate Counting. At first, we have two intuitive observations. The exact algorithms at pivotal run fast on the sparse regions of the graph. And then the approximate algorithms based on sampling get high occurrence on the dense regions of the graph. Uh, thus, we introduced an uh, intuitive exact plus approximation framework. This framework uh, is the first contribution. We split the graphs into dense and sparse part by the average degree. We, <coughs> for the sparse part, we use the exact algorithm to get the calculated count and the uh, approximate algorithm for the dense part. <laughs> uh, also, we introduced two novel sampling algorithms for calculated counting. Let's go on. 
I described two techniques before introducing the first uh, sampling algorithm. As we said before, we use the linear greedy coloring method, which can make sure every two adjacent nodes must be colored by two, two different colors. <laughs> and if every two adjacent nodes colored by different colors, every k click must be k must be colored by k colors, because every two vertices in a click are connected by an edge. Then we define a structure called k color set. A set of k, a set of nodes vk in a colored graph G is called a k color set if it contains k nodes with k different colors. And we have that every k click must form a k color set. That means the set of k clicks, the subset, subset of the k color sets. Uh, our second contribution is uh, something based based on the k color sets. The procedure is here. At first, given the dense regions D of the real world graphs, then denote the set of color states in D as C. We sample T K color states from C uniform and denote X of them are K clicks. At last, we can output the estimation of K click count as X divided T multiply the set of K color states. This procedure is right because the set of K clicks is a subset of K color states. However, this procedure has two problems. Uh, how do you count the k color sets and uh, how do you sample from the k color sets uniform? Uh, just, to, <coughs> just to repeat that, the k color set is k vertices with k different colors. Uh, we use a dynamic program algorithm to compute the size of k color sets. This picture means the vertices are split into sets by their color. The uh, k color set consists of k nodes, each from a different k color set. This is the recursive function of our dynamic program algorithm. Ij means choose j vertices from the previous i sets. In the previous i set of colors, j J of them are choose. All the combinations can be divided into two kinds. Whether or not choose uh, uh, vertices from the ice set. If choose a vertices from the ice set, they need to have AI ways to choose. AI is a set of the ice set. Now, FI minus one, J minus one means choose. J node, J minus one vertices from the previous I minus one sets. If the set, if the I set is not selected, then we need to choose J vertices from the previous I minus one sets. They cover all the conditions and uh, denote the two total count of colors at the chi. And we have a set of K color sets equals to F chi K. That means choose K nodes from the total chi sets. The next problem is how to sample from the K color sets uniform. The sampling procedure also depends on the dynamic programming. Let's look at whether to sample the K vertex from the K from the chi colors. From the chi colors, K chi colors. That means the largest. Uh, Color set with the largest color ID. We have that F chi k equals to A chi multiply F chi minus one k minus one plus F chi minus one k. I describe uh, the by the recursive function. Now yeah, we have that uh, it has A chi multiply F chi minus one k minus one conditions to choose the chi's the chi's color. And the F minus one K conditions to choose the F color. Then it is a recursive procedure. That means it has a probability F chi multiply F chi minus one K minus one divided K F chi K to choose a vertex with color chi. And it has a probability F chi minus one K divided F chi K not to choose a vertex with the color chi. If we choose if we 
uh, make a choice with this distribution. We will go into a recursive uh, state. If we choose, we will go to the state f time minus one k minus one. That means we will need to choose k minus one node in previous k minus one color of states. And or if not choose the ks state, we will need to choose k nodes in the previous k minus one states. The advantage of this algorithm is running faster and space efficient at the title state. Uh, we also give the accuracy analysis. The algorithm returns a uh, all minus efficient approximation with probability one minus two that if k is greater or equal to three, three divided root k rational power. Where rational and that are small positive values and uh, t is the sample size. Let's look at the condition. Uh, t is the sum of size, and the k is the density, k density on this part. It, it, uh, it means that the purpose of the algorithm that's on the k density on this part. <coughs> that means um, if k is large, uh, k the k click uh, occupy a large part of the population. And it is more easy to get uh, the approximation. Uh, and if rook is small, that means there are uh, not many clicks in the k color sets, and it uh, is not easy to sample. It is not easy to get a great approximation from sampling. Now, the question is can we for the boost the k click identity? Can we make the k click, the k -click occupy a larger part? Uh, that's our last algorithm, sampling method based on the k color passes, which is an improvement of the previous sampling algorithm. Let's G with the uh, let G hit by the arc with the DAG generated by the color ordering. Then any k minus one pass in G with hit by k hit by arc forms a k color pass. Uh, k minus one pass means a pass with k minus one edges, and k color pass uh, means a uh, uh, pass with k nodes, each of them with different color. Uh, this picture, all vertices are sorted by their color ID, and the vertices with the same color must not be connected as described before. And each edge points from the vertices with lower color ID to vertices with larger color IDs. Then we can see that every, every pass, any pass will have, uh, every node in the pass will have different uh, colors. And uh, <coughs> we can see that every click leak is a K color pass because every click leak must contain a pass K pass and it must be colorful. And uh, the click density over the K color passes must be no smaller than the k color density over the k color sets because the set of k color passes is a subset of the k color sets. Then we can successfully get a population with higher k density. <laughs> Similarly, we use a dynamic programming algorithm to count the total size of k color pass. HVIJ means the count of j pass with the vi at the head vertex. The recursive function means the j pass with vi at the first vertex comes from the j minus one pass with the neighbors of vi at the first vertex. That means uh, the, the j minus one pass with vx at the, at the head vertex uh, headed by Either the node VI will form a new J pass with VI at head node. And the sampling procedure are similar. Yeah. With the VI sampled, the yeah, sample the next node VX with the probability HVXJ minus one divided HVIJ. Uh, this is something uh, this sampling procedure will <coughs> help us. 
some for the key color pass uniform. The next part, I simply show the experiment results. In the aspect of running time, our algorithm outperformed other algorithms. And, uh, and uh, in the aspect of memory cost, our offering cost is not, also not large. And that's uh, the titles for the title C. At last, the future work. This work is for counting clicks on static graphs. We can try more types of graphs, like graph streams, dynamic, dynamic graphs, attributed graphs, and so on. And this work may help the research of other click related problems, like uh, near click counting or calculate dense subgraph problems. That's all. Thank you.